right, what up, people? Welcome back to the channel. It is Claire and Drew, your favorite couple on freaking YouTube. Not even on YouTube, just ever. Ever. Yeah. Ever. We are a better couple than your parents, maybe. But really though, what is up? Today, me and Claire are taking a, a big leap in our relationship. We are going to stop drinking coffee from fast food restaurants, from Starbucks, from all that place, and we're gonna take it in our hands to save money, except we're not saving any money. Today, we're actually spending way more than we usually would. Why is that, babe? Because today, we are going to be taste testing the most expensive coffee to the least expensive coffee. Uh, I, I honestly don't know how expensive coffee actually gets. I've never actually bought coffee from uh, from like a or from like a store. Like I've never actually bought coffee. I bought it on Amazon, but it was like those bougie little like uh, Nespresso pods or whatever. So I'm assuming a expensive bag of coffee is like 15 bucks, maybe 10 bucks. I, I don't know. I have literally no idea if I'm close or off. No freaking clue. Do you know how expensive this coffee is going to be? Yeah. So a little background. We saw BuzzFeed do this video and we thought, wow, this would be a really good video for us to do because we both love coffee a lot. So we thought, what's the bougiest place that we could buy coffee? What? What? What's the bougiest place? Walmart. No. Oh. Whole Foods. Oh, yeah. So we are going to go to Whole Foods and we are going to try to find the most expensive coffee that they sell and the least expensive coffee that they sell. And then we are going to come back to the house and we are going to brew this coffee up and then taste test it. I hate hot coffee. Uh, if it's not cold or ice in it, I'm not about it. So it's probably going to be pretty tough for me to decide what's the cheap and what's the expensive. I mean, we could we could brew hot coffee and then turn it iced. That's not like a that's not an issue. Is that how they do it? Yeah, iced coffee is just coffee that then they chill and ice. So we are off to freaking Whole Foods. Uh, we're gonna go get some coffee and we're gonna go freaking heat these beans up and make some soup, some bean soup, technically. It is kind of bean. Soup. Technically, that is that is twisting the mind. Is coffee a drink or is it soup? Think about it. Let's go to Whole Foods. All right, we've arrived at the Whole Foods, and me and Claire Bear are going to do our best to vlog this. Uh, this could be weird. Uh, no, we have to be. We have to get better at this. It's weird. Like I'll do anything in public, but when there's a camera out, it like changes everything. Like I'll go in there and say, "Hey!" And, no, like, he literally wouldn't. That's just like a complete lie. You would literally never do that. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's go get this coffee. I'm so scared, oh God. Ooh, it's humid today. Yeah, it's, it's toasty. Does this look like I'm recording, babe? Yeah, it does. How does that act like I'm working on my phone right here? Just check your Twitter. A few moments later. All right, well this little booger over here must have did her mouth wrong because there is not a $30 bag of coffee. The I most expensive is $15. $16. $16, dollars it's on, on sale. sale. Yeah, so I guess it's gonna be a $16 bag of coffee compared to a $3 bag of coffee. $3.99. That is still like what, four times the price or I something know, like that? I know, I know that there's a more expensive bag I, here. And I, I quote, literally know it. And I quote, Claire goes, I go, are you sure that they have a $30 bag of coffee? She goes, yes, I checked. Do you know how expensive this coffee is gonna be? Yeah. That's what she said. No, I didn't. I told you, you that check? Sprouts has a $30 bag. But so no, I figured you didn't. Whole Foods If Sprouts had it, why would we not go to Sprouts? Well, we could go to Sprouts. No, we're, we're getting it here. I don't got time for this crap. Even though I have nothing to do today, I ain't going to Sprouts. Going to Sprouts with Claire is like going to freaking Toys R Us with a little baby. It sucks. I got Literally. a basket just in case we want to give one. Yeah, we stuff. walk in and she goes, you never know. I mean, you're at Whole Foods. All right, well, slight failure there, babe. Would you say so? Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't prepare correctly. No, she I just didn't. figured, I saw some expensive coffee at Sprouts. I just kind of figured and also insured you. Do you know how expensive this coffee is going to be? Yeah, that Whole Foods would probably have like a $30 bag of coffee. And you know what, Whole Foods? Step up your bougie game. Jeez. Now we got to decide what's, what's going on now, babe. What are we doing here? I, I'm determined to do this. So we're going to try to find a coffee shop. Sick. Same, yeah. So, um, well, we decided to go ahead and scrap this whole concept of taste testing it, but I like the new idea better. We are visiting the most expensive, highest rated coffee shop, not store. Shop. And you know what? There's hey, no are they open? Are we sure this place sells coffee, babe? Yes. 
gotta be careful nowadays. This is twice now Claire's done this. She goes, oh, there's this here, I promise. And we go and it's not even close. So hopefully this is true. I know I might seem a little mad. This is twice. In three strikes, Claire's out of here. I'm about to find someone new. Just kidding. There's no one better than Claire Bear. Yeah, you're right. Gosh. But yeah, we're off to a, uh, I'm not even going to say the name. Should I say the name? I don't know if, uh, if we do free brand deals here. I mean, there's there's a potential billion people watching this video. Okay. Okay. Like this video blows up and surpasses like uh, the uh, Gagnum style, which I think is the number one YouTube video ever. Uh, this could be like a big brand deal. So we got 20 minutes to freaking go. We'll 25. see you there. 25 of oh, 20 miles. 20 miles to go. Good God. Okay. If they're not open, babe, like literally, I will freaking fart on your mouth. Okay. Let's go. All right. We're arriving to the Big Apple, I believe is what they call this place. The Big Apple right down yonder. Absolutely beautiful. And look at how beautiful she is. But we are almost there. We are officially 2.9 miles away before we are consuming coffee and hopefully getting super hyper and freaking running around. I'm honestly very hungry. So am I. Well, let's go, babe. Get us there safely. Honestly, driving in uh, Dallas is like very overwhelming because there's just so many things. <sighs> Cars? No, just like roads and like ways to go. True. I mean, look how confusing this is. Like, overpass, overpass, side pass, car, Claire, May, what? All right, we're on our way. Claire couldn't parallel park, so we had to. Uh, you didn't let me parallel park. Yeah, you're welcome. You'd be at the tow shop right now picking up your broken car. But uh, we are in Deep Down, Texas. Claire said I'm being awkward, so we're gonna we're gonna show everyone that we I'm, don't care. I'm already sweating. It's we don't awesome. care. Yeah, and I'm wearing a lot. Oh, we're both wearing long sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing a long sleeve. This is not a long sleeve. This is like mesh. Solid flex. Solid flex. But yeah, we are, we will show you when we get to the coffee shop. Popsicles, yeah. All right, there it is. That's on the other side of the street. There is the coffee place. Babe, right how there. are we supposed to cross traffic? Run. We made it. Yeah! Bougie. guys so we have to drink our coffee outside first of all so we can actually talk to you without getting a copyright little thing you know because there's music playing and second of all because it is so busy inside because it is so hot outside but we found this cute little ooh, look at that mural cute little spot outside really? to try our cold brew with all this cool writing <laughs> on the table this is actually really cute you might just take an Instagram picture of me here, babe. The outfit's on fleek today. Have you already taken a sip? I have. Andrew. I did. I'm sorry, I forgot. Okay. Honestly, I like cold brew and I like bougie. And yeah. this is a bougie cold brew. But it's freaking bougie amazing. It's freaking good. Big check mark in the book. Way better than spending like $39, $40 on a bag of coffee. This stuff was like four bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think we, uh, I think that we thought it was gonna be a little bit more expensive. Four dollars is not that expensive. Yeah. This whole day pretty much was a flop just because of me, but now we're in this cool place, we have our coffee, and I'm hungry, so I think we should go get a lunch. I want barbecue food, but there's no bar I can't eat I know. barbecue food. I want freaking ribs. Claire, just get some, get some, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up some vegan places. Like full vegan? No, just places that I can actually eat, not just a salad. <laughs> I want ribs and barbecue sauce. So yeah, uh, my review, incredible. We'll shout them out. What is it called? Merit? Merit. Merit Coffee They're Co. From Austin. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas, Merit Coffee Co. Well done. If you want to sponsor Claire Bear and I, please do. Sponsor us with cold brew. I say that every video. Every no. time I have a product, I'm like, if you want to sponsor us, I'm desperate. 
How, but how was yours? You didn't even say yours was good oh, or bad. Oh, mine's really good. Is it? It's actually like really out of ten. Good. A nine. Wow. Wow. What's a ten? Jolly Rancher. A ten is like the just like perfect. Like there's just no no complaints. I would want this to be like a little bit stronger. Like that looks like a freaking beautiful peach tea. Mine looks like a chocolate thing. And the environment, especially with someone as good as this, just makes the experience so much better. <laughs> All right, you guys, Andrew and I are usually very indecisive of where we're gonna eat. First of all, because I can't eat a lot. So. And second of all, because we're just horrible at it. We've always been horrible at it. So, so, we resort to things like this, where we spin between Mexican food and Cajun food, and... Cajun one. But, <laughs> Mexican food won first. Mexican so, already won, so, so we're going, going to Mexican. Food. Mexican. We're gonna eat our faces off, let's go. God dang, wow. Is this TMZ? No, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Excuse me, sir. Excuse I don't, me. I don't know what happened. What's the know. drama in your life? I don't know. Just get, leave me alone. a success that place we went to was like super creepy but incredible this guy wow wow yeah he literally knew his stuff very well like he literally just talked about the whole menu from like he literally could probably recite the whole menu say every punctuation point where it is but those tacos i had were incredible that bean taco that one I opened for the camera, if it's in here, uh, was $2 and it was like <laughs> incredible. It's like cheaper than Taco Bell and it was actually amazing, so. Yeah, definitely not the day that we were expecting, my bad. Yeah. But, but it turned into kind of like a fun little vlog, so, and we actually did get coffee, so that's good, right? I guess. Two hours later. All right, you guys. Well, we just had. We got scammed and it was free. Yeah. We literally got scammed. I didn't even go up to it because I knew it was stupid. This is pretty much what happened. We were in Walmart and this guy was like, We're giving out free stuff. And I was like, Free stuff. Stuff. And it was pretty much for this product that like clean stuff all naturally, which is actually kind of cool But he gave a spiel like what yeah, 20 it was 20, 20 minute talk and all they got for free. You're gonna be amazed is A little pocket tape measure. I got two though because I answered him or I don't know why he gave me two How long does it even go like I don't know, but he Three said this feet. was five dollars He gave this to us at the beginning and then he talked to us forever And I thought we were gonna get more free stuff, but this is it. He said this is for measuring furniture Like if this is why do you just need a tape measure on your keychain? I don't get it Dude that guy scammed us and it was free. But yeah after that pathetic little sales pitch that guy gave us uh, we're in in this vlog. I'm in a bad mood now I'm hungry even though we just ate. I want those bean tacos so bad. Oh I'm, a, I'm probably gonna try to make those tonight at home, I can do it. Like yeah. if they cost me $2 at a restaurant, I could probably make those for 50 cents. But yeah, that is it in this video, babe. What are your thoughts? How was the day, terrible? Honestly, this was just a massive, massive failure of our day, yeah. but we're glad that we brought you guys along. And honestly, if you like videos like this, just let us know. These are way easier to make, um, like daily vlogs or whatever, and uh, not really having a clue what's going on. So if you want more, than, more of these, let us know. But we're out of here. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>